Okay? Well, my God. Good on you, girl. Easy now. We finally got this girl up on her feet. Good for you. She's very weak. Don't come through here, darling. You know, I wish you wouldn't drink that water either. Holy, well, it is what it is. Hey, Mother, put it on my. Now she's finally able to stand, thank God. Put it in there. Okay, I want you to clean all this Tahe, remove. And bring all those rice hulls there, here. Oh my God, she was thirsty. Well, good for you, girl. Well, she's up on her feet, so she'll probably survive. Poor thing, look at her side there. Uh, I came in and helped her up and she, or, or rolled her up so that she could eat and she went ahead and stood the rest of the way up. More feed day. Material. Come. Use the material. It's right there. Okay. Right there. In the corner. Right here. Five, one, uh. Here. Easy girl. Oh now. Oh, God bless this pig. I'm thinking she'll be able to make it now that she's able to stand. All she needed was something to eat. And yeah, Mitch, we're just throwing it over the side because we just want to get it out of here. We're going to fertilize your grass. Well, good on you, pig. <laughs> Just to get it choked up. I'm so, so pleased that we were able to intervene in time. Um, I'm thinking she's got like a, wow, we gave her a 50 50 chance when we first came out here. I'd give her like a 95% chance now. She's on her feet and she can eat. And she doesn't have any bleeding wounds, so. So what are we going to do? I guess I told them and didn't tell you guys. We're going to remove all this crap out of here and fill it full of rice holes. She still is just skin and bones, and when she lays down, okay. uh, you can see on her side there, from laying on her side, that her skin is just raw. And that's from the concrete. So we're gonna give her a little better bed to lay in. He's 
Marines. No, 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 don't let her drink this water. Give her some more tubing. You stay in there, Nothead. Don't you come out here. Don't you come out here. This needs to be clean, very clean. More, more feed, more water. Okay. More feed, more tubing, more tubing, more feed. I'm gonna set them up. I'm gonna try to communicate them to empty out this barrel here and fill it up full of water. Nah, it's just packed full of crap. That's not gonna work. I wonder if this thing will hold water. It will. It has water in it. It may very well plug up that drain, but it's just draining to the outside. I can see the The cyan is very limited and their English is zero. I'm going to plug this water in. What well, is plugged in? But it's not pumping water. What is going on here? I can hear the pump running. Well dry. Yeah, the well doesn't have any water. It has water in it, but not enough to pump. Hi. Everybody's wells are I think she's going to make it. So I was wiping the sweat off my face. Yeah, that's just putrid and definitely needs to be cleaned out. I need to, Mitch, we need to figure out something. This, this setup is just not right. You can't use these drops for water. 
because they just end up full of crap. And you can't have your pigs drinking crap water. You're going to have to utilize these for feeders only. Dry feed. I'll look around and see what see what I, I'll, I'll rack my brain and see what I can come up with for a better watering solution because this is well this is just this won't work period it won't work they have to have clean water to drink and there's no way to have for them to have clean water with troughs in it that they can just crap in I mean look, look at this this is just luckily that's only feed and water This one's not bad, but... Well... all that feed and water up again. Dong. Dong. More food, more water. Additional. Here, I'm just gonna go along and feed everybody else. And that's okay. That's okay. You go, darling. Yeah, let's see if we can find you a non putrid place to put your food. There you go. How you doing, hon? Yeah, come down here. Let's put your feet down here, darling. Come on. One more to feed. I brought them buckets and brooms. I should have just grabbed a bucket of feed to go feed them, but I don't know where the buckets are. Pass them off and Not foreseen that water would be a problem out here. I 
guess I should have known with everybody else's wells going dry. Mitch might have the same problem. That's the last one, right? Yeah. You know, really, there's no reason to have her this far down. Is there another pin down here to move her in? Yeah, this one here is empty. Move that one pig down here. That's walking. got her appetite now by good. <laughs> Very hungry pig. Sorry about that, wiping the sweat off my brow again. Hmm. Well, if she's going to just keep eating, then I'm just going to keep feeding her. Nope, she's still working on it. I'm going to feed her until she pukes or she stops, one, one or the other. Oh, careful. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Trying to clean this is just, I don't know, impossible, basically, without a water hose. I'm going to give the pump another 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll plug it in again, see if we can at least get them a barrel of, a barrel of water for a How you doing, little pig? Huh? How you doing, little pig? You're the healthiest looking one of the bunch. Although you definitely don't look like you're eight or nine months old. If you'll notice, the length of their snouts really long. Um, and these pigs are just stunted. They're like pygmy pigs now. The lengths of their snout, I mean, that should match the size of her body. So her head's almost the right size, but her body's about half as big as it should be. How are you doing, hon? You're liking that feed too, huh? Aren't you? Yeah, you are. She's still eating like she's not playing around. Oh, the rice hulls? Yeah. 
He jammed his foot right on that. And as you can see, it's been cleaned up a lot in here. I'm sure they'd clean it up a bit more if they had some water. Well, that's the first good meal that she's had, I think, probably in months. Uh, that's about five kilos of feed we just fed her. Well, four, maybe. Well, good on you. I'm happy for you. What a fighter. What a fighter. So, nonetheless, I mean, I'd, I'd had the idea to put the rice holes in there just in case you uh, had to stay down. But I'm still going to put them in because she still has those. They're not, they're not wounds on her ribs, they would have been in another day, but she's got like a little strawberry on her hip there, and they're just the same on the other side. Uh, scabs on her face, so uh, the rice holes aren't exactly smooth, but they're not like sandpaper like the cement floor is, so uh, we're going to finish putting rice holes, a little, at least to some, in the bottom of this. Being as her pins on this side of the piggery and it basically just drains out anyway. And I can see daylight through it. And I'm not worried about the rice holes plugging it up. Oh, she finished that off again. Won't you come get you a drink of water, honey? Come on. Right. Come on, darling. You did good. Yeah, you did. That's what you get for hanging in there. few other things to do around here, look around and look things over for Mitch and then I'm, I gotta get home. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.